Hope everyone's having a great day. I'm going to do a special edition of Guess the Verdict today. This case involves a two-year-old little boy named Stephen. Stephen was just learning how to walk and he tripped and fell uh, and he fell on a branch. That branch lodged into his sinus cavity uh, and he had to go to the hospital. At the hospital, they checked him out uh, and said that, yeah, he's got a cut, but he's going to be okay, and they sent him home. His symptoms didn't improve, and in fact, they started to get worse. So she went back to the hospital and she said, my son's not getting better. Can we do a CAT scan just to make sure that he's okay? The hospital said, no, there's nothing to worry about. Go home. Your son's fine. Had they done a CAT scan, they would have learned that there was actually an abscess in his brain, and it was growing, and it was getting worse. In a very short period of time, Stephen became severely brain damaged and he went blind. His parents sued the hospital that refused to do the CAT scan despite his symptoms obviously getting much worse. Had they done that CAT scan at the time, they would have been able to catch this and fix it before the problem. Uh, the case went all the way to a jury and the jury awarded in favor of this little boy for a lifetime of special needs treatment and his blindness. And I'll go ahead and tell you what the jury awarded in this case. They awarded this, this little boy $7.1 million for a lifetime of blindness uh, and near constant treatment for his, for his problems. But here's what happened after the jury awarded $7.1 million. A judge reduced that amount to $250,000 because there was a cap on damages in that state. No matter how bad your injury is, no matter how egregious the defendant's conduct is, the most you can ever get is $250,000. Obviously that result is wrong, but insurance companies love it. And that's why they're trying to bring the exact same caps to Georgia. Insurance companies are currently pushing forward bills in the Georgia legislature to cap the amount of money that you can recover in a case, regardless of how bad you're hurt. Now, I don't expect anyone watching this video to call up their congressman and start fighting against this kind of bill. Uh, but if you do care about this and believe that you don't want the same thing to happen to your child or your family member, send me a direct message. I'll respond back to you with the best way to communicate and send a letter or an email to your representative to let them know that you don't support these kinds of laws in Georgia. Thanks for watching uh, and, and I hope that you'll reach out to me. Thanks.